if all goes well, this 60 acre property that you see behind me here will one day be home to the region's new single site acute care hospital. This was one of 22 sites considered throughout this process. And today we're going to meet two of the key players responsible for making sure that process was fair and transparent. Meet Bill Piggott. His role in the process was to provide advice on the best way to find a site for the new hospital. And that was a matter of great public interest. So how do we go about doing that, that the people who are interested believe it was done properly, fairly, and we got the right site without it being twisted, bent, um, favoring anything at all. The advice of his group was to follow the broader public service procurement directive. Now this outlines 25 mandatory steps that institutions must take when making big purchases. This is not required when buying property and it certainly isn't the easiest route to take, but it is considered a gold standard when it comes to accountability. The hospital is a steward of public money. It's going to spend a lot of money on the site and a whole lot more money on this hospital. So in terms of being a steward of public money, I think they ran as good a process as could be run for this kind of, a, this kind of an acquisition. The process for selecting this site involved an RFP. Potential owners were encouraged to submit properties for consideration. Each of the 22 proposed sites was then scored using a predetermined list of 32 criteria. That criteria was based on priorities determined through public consultation. Now from there, a site selection subcommittee made up of 10 volunteer members from Windsor, Essex had to evaluate each of the properties based on that criteria, both individually and then again as part of a group. And that was a humongous job. God bless them for volunteering. Lots of times a volunteer job said, well, you know, come on in, this would be pretty straightforward. Wow, it's practically a career. Each subcommittee member spent about 150 hours on this project. Their effort was recently recognized at the announcement of this site. Now, phase two of the process involved a more in-depth look at each of the properties and considered costs. Experts involved in other site selection processes tell me this one was unique. First, because of the level of public consultation right from the beginning. And second, because of this guy. Meet Glenn Ackerley, fairness advisor appointed to monitor the site selection process. Well, a fairness advisor is really the uh, eyes and ears of uh, the public watching uh, the, the process that was undertaken was fair and transparent, that the proponents that were involved were treated equally and fairly as part of the process. Now after watching the process closely, he produced a report outlining his observations. So in my report, I describe each of the stages of the RFP process. I talk about the initial information meetings. Uh, where proponents were given the initial information regarding uh, uh, how the process was going to unfold, uh, what the steps were going to be in the process. So I describe uh, the process from that stage right through to the final selection of the site and uh, my involvement in it and the fact that all the way through the rules were in fact followed. Um, there was no place where um, the evaluators veered off course, um, they, they maintained the process, uh, um, the integrity of the process throughout. A process built on integrity, a team dedicated to following that process and selecting the best possible site, and an advisor to keep things fair. It all leads right back here to the corner of County Road 42 and the 9th Concession, the recommended site for the new single site acute care hospital.